Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're enjoying the content. If you are, then why not like and subscribe, follow us on Patreon, etc. Now, when I get invited to look at cinema slash theatre organs, I normally end up in a cinema slash theatre. Hello. Yes, hello, it's me, remember me. Yes, I know, I know. What was I saying? Yes, I expect to go to a cinema slash theatre. Now, of course, when these organs were removed back in the 70s and 80s and what have you, uh, the enthusiasts had to find alternative places for them to go. So they ended up in places like the barn, for example. Uh, sometimes they end up in new buildings, sometimes they end up in converting buildings, and, and one of them, if I remember correctly, was installed over a swimming pool. But this one's slightly different today because this is a two manual, nine rank Wurlitzer installed in a house. And here it is, and just look at it. This organ dates back from 19. 27. It was opened by uh, Leslie James um, on Boxing Day 1927. It remained in the Regent Sheffield uh, Cinema until 1962 when it was removed by Harold Cantrell and then uh, Bernard and Dot Dorothy uh, brought it here in 1978 where it's been here ever since. As I said it's uh, nine ranks, it's a lovely little world. It's a, at some point when it was here actually Bernard decided to turn it into a three manual and then decided he didn't like it so he put it back as it was. So this is how it looks with this lovely music rest. You might have noticed these as well. We'll take a closer look at these. These are these are models that Bernard made and they're absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, the, the uh, well it says even here look. So uh, let's have a closer look at it, shall we? Hello. Uh, I apologise for the light, by the way, but you know the sun's where it is and there's nothing we can do about it. So we shall now start the organ. And I apologise. I, I can't really show you what I'm doing because there just isn't room in here because the, the blower lives under this sort of cupboard thing and it's all built in. So you're actually, my cameraman, hello, is stood in the chamber. So what we're going to do then, and, uh, you'll just have to listen to what I'm doing. Uh, rectifier switch on. No, sorry. Master switch on first rectifier on and then we press the big green button to start it ah and a cipher of course what well, won't be a minute well i hope the noise isn't too loud and i hope you can hear me you should be able to because this mic's quite good i hope uh so here we are in the pipe chamber <laughs> It's just fantastic, isn't it? I mean, imagine, imagine having one of these in your house. I mean, I've got a console in my garage, but it's not quite the same thing, is it? I mean, as I said, the blower is in a separate room underneath some sort of, it's like an inbuilt enclosure in the next room. And the wind feed comes through the wall into the coffin under these chests and into the regulators, which feeds the chest, which provides the wind uh, to get the sound out of these pipes. There's nine ranks in here. It's all tightly packed in, but it does actually mix quite nicely because there's quite a, a large space above me. Uh, you've got the, the glockenspiel up there. Uh, you've got the xylophone behind me. We've got clarinet, tibia, solitional, diapason, all the usual stuff. Uh, we've even got the uh, all the toys, the bells and whistles. It's all in here, and it's fantastic. I mean, if, if somebody came to me and said, we want to put a Wurzer organ in your house, I'd say, oh, no, don't be stupid, you couldn't do it. But just look at it. It's fantastic, isn't it, really? Ignore the tools, we're doing some work on this at the minute. So the relays are up this ladder in this uh, rather sturdy platform. Believe me, it's safe, it's good. Just mind my head on here. It's obviously, this is no good if you're a bit sort of unathletic, but there we go. Oh! this is the reason it's going to shock you. Um, <laughs> a 2 9 Wurlitzer are operating on Compton relays and, and I'm sure lots of you will be eager to type telling us that we're wrong but there is a reason for this. Look at the size of these compared to um, a full-size Wurlitzer relay. You couldn't get a Wurlitzer relay in here so Compton relays were the only way to go. It works it's fine and it's fast it's responsive people who say comps and relays are slow no they're not not if they're done properly and this plays just like it should so comps and relays 
Right, uh, we'll have a quick tour of the organ then. So we've got uh, tibia closer. Let's put a bit on the pedal so we can actually hear what we're doing. Very nice with uh, four and two foot as well. And of course, we have a tuba and a trumpet there. Uh, we've got some lovely strings on this, very, very nice strings. And everyone likes the Vox Humana. And of course there's a special effects as well, like we've got the Chris Aglott which is just behind me. Tambourines. Various things like that, crash cymbals. And all sorts of different effects. That's meant to be a car. Oh, train. <laughs> so there's lots of stuff on here, and of course when you mix it all together, you've got that lovely, you know, your typical sort of Wurlitzer of tone, which of course is just absolutely glorious, isn't it, really? So this is what this sounds like. <laughs> Of course, if the Wurlitzer isn't to your liking, well, there's always one of these. This is a Hammond B3, and a very fine B3 it is too. But this is no ordinary Hammond B3, because this organ was owned by none other than Cherry Wayner. And if you don't know who Cherry Wayner was, well, this was Cherry Wayner. And this was hers. Um, we contacted her uh, several years ago. Uh, sadly, she's no longer with us now, but this has been confirmed by the serial number. This was in the studio. So um, it's fantastic to be able to sit here and play this. So, um, well, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> So when Bernard wasn't tinkering with the organ, um, well, he liked to make them, things like this. This is a model of the Tower uh, Ballroom Wurlitzer, and it's just, it's absolutely fantastic really. I mean, the, the etched plastic to get all the keys and all the stops and the, the lift buttons and even the microphone uh, stand and the music rest and the bench, it's just absolutely superb, and he made loads of these. And the reason I mentioned this one in particular is because, as I said before, this was Regent Sheffield, which means that this organ was played by this chap, Reginald Dixon. So for me, as a Reginald Dixon fan, it's fantastic to be able to come here and 
play this instrument that Reg played. Uh, Reg started on this really um, and um, all around this house there are photographs of uh, different organs and of course photographs of uh, Reginald Dixon. But anyway I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching. If you have, as I say, please like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye for now. Thank you.